you know, the the wealthy, you know, really control the game, and they, you know, let us fight over crumbs, you know, because at the end of the day, um, there is an awful lot of agreement between Republicans and Democrats on a lot of the really, really key issues, and certainly when it comes to regulating Wall Street, you know, they're, you know, Wall Street is well entrenched in both political parties. Mr. Baker, I want to thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, I have both your email address and uh, your phone number. Uh, you can expect a call from me sometime next week. Uh, again, I'll be calling, uh, looking to uh, to have something of a white paper of your recommendations that I would like to submit to uh, to members of Congress that I have relationships with in the hopes of uh, perhaps translating this into bills that will uh, get before the next session of Congress. Mr. Baker, I'm going to say the same thing I, I, uh, to you that I told Bob Paul, and continue, please continue speaking the truth. Speak it loudly. Speak it often. We really need you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for having me Thanks. on. Well, we come to the last segment of our show, and uh, that is going to be a, a recap on the county's uh, retirement system. Uh, my guest is uh, Norman uh, Duvall. Um, I, I want to say this without uh, seeming gratuitous or making uh, Norman blush, uh, but uh, probably the primary reason I agreed to do this show was because this was in uh, Norman's slot, and uh, he was taking a sabbatical from um, from radio for a while, and I had such respect for him th that even given the great inconvenience of coming from wherever I come from, either in San Francisco or in the Ukiah Valley, out here to a, our little station in Ukiah, despite all that and despite having to take off time from uh, 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 other uh, professional activities, I wanted to do this because I had so much respect for uh, Norman Duvall. He's a longtime supervisor here at uh, in Mendocino County. Uh, I can't think of anyone who loves our county more. And in a lot of ways, uh, I've listened to Norman's show for a long time. In a lot of ways, I regard him as the conscience of the county. Uh, Norman, thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you. Well, let's talk about the uh, let's talk about the uh, uh, pension fund system. Uh, uh, God, we could do a, a several hours show here. Um, the, of course, uh, just recapping uh, some of the bad news that uh, Jay and I were at the meeting on uh, on uh, what was it, Wednesday. Uh, we heard that there were uh, paper losses of nineteen million dollars in the portfolio uh, for the month of June. We were when asked uh, when Tim uh, Knutson was asked. Um, uh, whether those losses uh, pr were pretty much emblematic of the portfolio since the, uh, uh, and, and when compared to the general market, whether the portfolio could be marked down by the same amount that the, portf that the uh, general market has collapsed since its high in October of last year, which is about 20%, uh, Mr. Knutson said yes. Um, uh, despite all this bad news, uh, the retirement board uh, rehired Peter Chan, our investment counselor, who's been working without a contract since the mid-1980s, and not only renewed his contract, but gave him a raise. Just unbelievable. Just astonishing. Unbelievable. Didn't they do that with Ken Lay, too? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are so many similarities. You know, we, we, uh, this is a show today on, uh, on, on taxpayer-funded bailouts. It happens not just on the county level, but on the state level, and, and as we're seeing now, on the, uh, on the national level as well. You know, there's, to me, and this is Norman, there's a little bit of a tie between your, the first half of the program of, at the uh, uh, federal level, uh, Fannie and Freddie, uh, who said this morning in a news brief that was um, uh, on very early radio that they hold $90 billion in cash reserves and will not need a federal bailout. And that sounds very similar to what we're hearing from the Mendocino County Retirement Board Administration, uh, that everything will be fine and don't uh, you don't have to think about this very much. Uh, but it's in, uh, the irony here is that the retirement fund of Mendocino County is so uh, uh, four hundred million. That's approaching half a billion dollars. And Fannie Mae and Freddie are saying that they've got ninety in reserve. There's thirty five hundred counties in the United States. 23 in California out of the 58 have their own pension plans. All of the others are on CalPERS. And I think the real issue is the lack of transparency uh, at the Mendocino County Retirement Board level, the disconnect between the retirement fund and its management and its board and the Board of Supervisors, 
and nobody really uh, from outside being allowed, permitted, invited, requested to do a review and audit and give a second opinion, and hopefully even a third opinion. It's a closed loop. Of, they've, they've circled the wagons. They've shut the door. They've excluded the public. Unfortunately, thus far, the employees uh, with their union representation, either uh, with uh, post uh, officers, etc., sheriffs, uh, peace officers, uh, and SEIU, and the other negotiating units in Mendocino County apparently have not come together to say, you know, we should have a concern here. And yes, they have representation of employees and peace officers on the retirement board, but they're not, they are not fiscal oriented you know, or pension institution fund knowledgeable members of our retirement board. They're all nice people. They are very good in the other disciplines in which they're trained. There is no one that has, in my view, though, and I, I really appreciate that Supervisor Kendall Smith has gone out and now for so 